Hey guys, hope you've been well. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the McQuaid jeans by Tactical Distributors. They're a new pair of pants that Tactical Distributors just recently released, uh, and they're really cool. I like them a lot. So in my various 511 pant review videos, people have asked me a lot to review the Tactical Distributors uh, Carlos Ray pants, the V2 or 2.1. Uh, they also have a relatively new pair of pants called the Neptune, uh, and the McQuaid jeans are brand new. So I actually picked up all three of those pairs of pants uh, and have been testing them out for a while, but I'm doing the McQuaid jeans today. So we'll talk about that. Tactical Distributors is a cool brand. I've been buying stuff from them since I first kind of started getting into the like tactical gear thing like four, five, six years ago. I'm not sure. But they've been, they make their own, they sell a bunch of stuff, Solomon, Arcteryx, all kinds of good stuff. They have a lot of good sales over there. I'll link to them below and these pants, uh, so click those links uh, if you're into shopping there. But they, a while back, started making their own pants. I've had, I had a pair of shorts from theirs that I like. They're kind of like my workout shorts. Uh, they had the Carlos Ray pant, was like one of the first pants they made and they looked really skinny. So at the time I was, well, I'm still not into skinny pants, but at the time I was like, they're too skinny for me, so I'm not gonna try them out. And they just kind of fell off my radar for a while. Uh, and the newer versions aren't as skinny and they kind of added some features that I like. So they're a company that, oh, I've been wearing their sweatshirts and their jackets for a while too. So they, they produce a lot of their own gear. Uh, and the thing that's really cool about them is they take customer feedback and they improve their gear with each generation, which kind of, I'm not sure, maybe goes like every year they release like a new generation. But basically if the first generation didn't like, wasn't perfect, then they'll get some feedback and make those improvements on the next generation, get more feedback, make those improvements on the next generation. So yeah, their products are constantly improving and I really, they're, they're a cool company and they basically just, basically anything they sell, I'm like, that's cool. So. Check them out. Yeah, anyways, we'll get into the pants review here. I've been wearing these pants like for a week straight probably, and they might be dirty. They probably have dog hair on them. So if you see whatever, that's just, it is what it is. It's my life and that's how my pants are because I, I wear them all the time. So yeah, with all my pants reviews, I just kind of get into the features, what I like, what I might change in the future if I could, you know, alter the pants for the next generation or something. Uh, and we'll get into it. So here's the pant. I'll kind of step back here and you can see the fit. They're not a skinny jean, but they're not overly baggy either. Uh, you know, if you, if you work out your legs, you'll be fine in these, in these pants. So kind of top to bottom here. So up top here, I'm wearing a Boxer Tactical Apogee belt. These loops are sufficient size to fit a 1.5 inch Cobra belt buckle through, which is nice. Most of the pants I've been reviewing lately do accept that, so I, I'm, I'm happy to see pants go in that direction. Belt loops here in the back is a nice big one. Uh, the only thing, I wish the belt loops were a little bit further apart, and that's just for someone like me that appendix carries and might have like bigger buckles or whatever in the front. I like a little more room to shift them around my gun, but uh, no big deal, really, there. Uh, so I'll take this out. So you guys are probably sick of hearing it. I make and sell holsters. If you're interested, I'll put my email uh, in the video description below. And yeah, I don't know, we'll get into it. It's a button enclosure. I did read a, read a review that this button enclosure was kind of, uh, maybe fell apart for one of these users. I do kind of notice it doesn't seem to be the highest quality, though I personally haven't had any issues with it. And I guarantee I've been running these pants longer than that reviewer has. So maybe he's a little rougher uh, on his pants than I are, I am somehow. Uh, but whatever, something to note. Fly length is good, a uh, nice big fly to do your business. I'll go ahead and zip this up because I forget to zip that up sometimes in other reviews apparently. Now we'll get into the pockets. The pockets are what I love about these pants. If you've seen my other uh, pant reviews in the past, you know I love separate pockets. I like separation, I like organization. I don't like things that are all like bunched up in the same pocket, scratching my phone or whatever. So these pants have a ton of pockets, no cargo pockets. Uh, these are jeans, so no cargo pockets on them. I forget if I mentioned it or not. I think these are the dark denim color. They also have a gray color. Uh, okay, so here we go. We have a 
change pocket on the right here. Uh, other than the change pocket, these pants are symmetrical. So if I'm talking about a pocket on one side, it's the same pocket on the other side, uh, except for this coin pocket. All right, so the coin pocket is pretty good depth. This is a Leatherman Skeletool, so a knife of similar length can fit all the way in there. Now it has a pocket in front of the main pocket. So a main pocket are nice, deep, big pockets down here. And then it has this pocket in front. I don't know if you can tell easily in the video, but that's where my Sharpie is right now. So you can kind of see the outline of this little pocket here. But it has that. I have my Sharpie in there. You could put whatever, you could put your knife in there. But it's separation between what's in my main pocket, which I have a wallet, my keys, and I think some chapstick. Yeah, some chapstick in there. So really spacious, uh, good pockets. Separation, three pockets up here, which is really, really cool. On this side, we have two pockets. So I am able to separate my flashlight from my cell phone because my flashlight's in this little pocket and it doesn't scratch up against my cell phone because this is a an Olight S1R with a, it sits deep in here. So my phone doesn't scratch up against it. I do always put my phone screen in. So when I'm pulling it up in case it does scratch on something, it's just the case. So that's just something I do. This is a Google Pixel in there. Boom. So then we get into our back pockets, which I don't really use. Oh. My belt loop isn't through it, but there is this Velcro thing here to where you can feed your belt through that and you can put more out patches or whatever if you feel like it back there. That's kind of what Tactical Distributors, I think, throws on a lot of their pants. So back here we have a standard back pocket as well as another higher pocket that's a little over to the side. And that, you know, is what a lot of pants you see lately. You can use them for mags, you can use them for anything, and then it's kind of up high and kind of concealed if you feel like doing that. Same pockets on the other side. Very comfortable pants. Um, again, enough space here to where if you have big, uh, thick thighs, shouldn't be a problem. The material is a little bit stretchy, which is nice, very comfortable, moves with you, bends, does all that stuff, great. And yeah, the crotch is plenty ample. It's not like a short crotch like some of these pants have these days. I wear my pants, uh, you know, not high, pretty, pretty, st I don't sag and I don't wear them up high, pretty standard, standard ride height. So these, these pants just, they, they work really well. They're some of my favorite pants right now. They are not as thin fitting as like the 511 Defender Flex Slims, but they're not as baggy as a lot of your other tactical pants out there. And the material is pretty light for a jean, so it's not a super heavy, thick material. So for warmer weather, it'll work all right. I mean, work fine in cold weather as well, but they're not too stuffy. They're not too stuffy of uh, a pair of jeans. So yeah, fits great. The uh, leg is pretty much straight. You know, I don't know what it's called, boot cut. It doesn't taper down, so it can get over your shoes just fine. And I think I forgot to mention it when I was talking about the pants and they were on uh, my body in front of the camera. But the length I think is a little bit long. So these pants are a 3230. I'm normally a 3232. Uh, so a 3230 is about, seems almost the length of a 3232, maybe just a little bit shorter. So for me anyways, it seems like the pants may run a little bit long and the waist is pretty true to size. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing I forgot to talk about there that I just figured I'd mention right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, feel free to ask me questions, comments below, think the pants are cool, think they want to, they need to change something. If you're interested in getting a pair of pants reviewed, let me know and I'll try and pick up a pair. Uh, yeah, and stay tuned. I'll be reviewing the... Uh, Carlos Ray and the Neptune at some point in the future. The Neptune's a really cool pant. It's super lightweight, mesh pockets, uh, a really good kind of hiking summer pant. They don't have as many pockets in the layouts that I would like. So for like an EDC pant, they're not, they don't have as many pockets as I would like. Uh, the, the Carlos Rays are awesome. Uh, I also have a pair of Ver Vertex Hide pants that I'll be reviewing soon and maybe some, maybe some others. I don't know. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention, I wanna say a huge thank you to you guys for my last video. I think it was my last video that I, I published was just like in a hotel, talked about travel you see and stuff. And I talked about some personal stuff, my divorce, uh, my thoughts on divorce and all that stuff. So I really appreciated all you guys' comments a lot. So had so many good, positive, encouraging comments. I had a bunch of emails that you guys sent me and uh, apparently what I said was helpful to some of you in some ways, so that's really awesome. Just so you know, I'm doing great, best ever in my life. So I appreciate the sympathy and the, I'm sorry to hear about your struggles. It, it, it sucked, it was a struggle at the time, but now I'm, I'm happier than I've ever been. So uh, don't feel too bad for me <laughs> because the, the bad stuff is behind me. Uh, anyways, as always, appreciate you guys' support. All right, well, I appreciate you taking two seconds to hit that thumbs up button uh, and get subscribed to the channel if you haven't. All right, take care.